Uh, and good morning, um, and can I welcome members to this, the first meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is instruments subject to negative procedure. Uh, the first one is the Town and Country Planning, Miscellaneous Amendments and Transitional Saving Provision, Scotland Order 2016, SSI 2016, number 421. Um, thank you. Um, Monica. Um, Can you be now? Yes, I'd like to draw the committee's attention to my register of interest as I am a member of the Royal Town Planning Institute. Right. That's great. Um, thank you. That's helpful. Sorry for not uh, noting that earlier. Um, so, um, going back to what I was saying, the, the primary purpose of the order before us is to amend the Town and Country Planning Use Classes Scotland Order 1997 with the effect that any material change of use of premises to a betting office or PD loan shop would require a planning application to be made. Article 4 of the order makes a transitional provision so that the new rules do not apply to a change of use to a betting office which occurs before the 10th of February 2020. This applies where the building is authorised by a betting premises licence issued before the 10th of February 2017. Paragraph 2 of Article 4 of the order includes a definition of PD loan shop in its application to Article 4. However, no other reference is made to PD loan shop in Article 4. The Scottish Government has confirmed that the inclusion of the definition of a PD loan shop in Article 4 has no purpose. So, does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament under the general reporting grounds on the basis that the definition of PD loan shop in its application to Article 4 of the order is a drafting error, as no other reference is made to PD loan shop in Article 4? Have we agreed? Further, does the committee agree to invite the Scottish Government to amend the instrument at the next available opportunity so as to remove the definition of PD loan shop by way of removing paragraph 2 of Article 4? We, Stuart? Yes, I'm happy to agree uh, to this convener, um, but certainly I'm quite keen for this, uh, for this instrument to, to proceed. Uh, and then at some point in the future for it to, uh, to be amended. Uh, it's, a, it's an instrument, uh, it's an issue that uh, I've certainly been, I've been involved in for quite some time uh, and this change, it's, it's been a long time in the coming uh, and I am delighted that uh, it's now before this committee and also before this parliament. Right. Anyone else want to make any contribution? Yeah, I was agreeing with, with Stuart on that point. Right. So, um, are we agreed that we proceed on that basis that um, we didn't seek the instrument to proceed, but nonetheless that it be tidied up at the next available opportunity, I think, uh, was the form of words that we used. Um, thanks very much. OK. Um, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instruments. Um, Police Service of Scotland Amendment Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 419, or... Gaelic Medium Education Assessment Requests, Scotland Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 425, or the Civil Partnership, Marriage Between Persons of Different Sexes and Same-Sex Marriage, Prescribed Bodies, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 427, or the Fireman's Pension Scheme Amendment and Transitional Provisions, Scotland Order SSI 2016 number 431 or the Letting, Re Letting Agent Registration, Scotland Regulations 2016, SSI 2016 number 432. And so, is the committee content with these instruments? Excellent. Thank you very much. Now move to agenda item two, which is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. 
And the first one is the Housing Scotland Act 2014, commencement number six and transitional provision order 2016, SSI 2016 number 412. And this order brings into force various provisions of the Housing Scotland Act 2014. 1st of May 2017 is appointed for the coming into force of the remaining provisions in Part 5 of the Act relating to mobile home sites with permanent residents. The 31st of January 2018 is appointed for the coming into force of the majority of the provisions in Part 4 of the Act relating to letting agents. The Order provides that Section 44 of the Act, which establishes the offence of operating as a letting agent without registration, will come into force on the 31st of September 2018. This is intended to give a period of eight months from the date the register of letting agents is established before that offence provision is in force. Article 3 of the order aims to ensure that the offence provision will not apply if by that date an application has been made but has not been finally determined. Article 3.1 purports to make a transitional provision in circumstances where a person has before the 31st of September 2018 made an application under Section 30 of the Housing Scotland Act 2014 for registration in the Register of Letting Agents. The last entry in Column 3 of the Schedule purports to commence Section 44 of the Act on that supposed date. The date which should have appeared in those provisions is the 30th of September. Accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the order to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground I as it appears that Article 3.1a and the last entry in Column 3 of the schedule of the order are defectively drafted? Yes. Thank you. Does the committee also agree to note that the Scottish Government intends to correct these provisions before they have effect within the next commencement order for the Housing Scotland Act 2014, which will be made during the course of this year? Thank you. And does the committee wish to indicate, however, that while such correction would be acceptable, given that the order refers in two places to a non-existent date, it would be preferable to correct the provisions as soon as practical. Thanks. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Criminal Justice Scotland Act 2016 Commencement Number 3 and Saving Provision Order 2016 SSI 2016 Number 426. So is the committee content with this instrument too? Thank you. Now, at our next meeting... Uh, on the 17th of January, uh, we will discuss, among other things, uh, SSI, and we will return to our consideration of the Limitation Childhood Abuse Scotland Bill. So that's really just to make you and others aware that that's what we'll be doing uh, next week. Um, we look forward to that, of course, with bated breath. Um, and so, at this point, close the meeting. Okay.